So YouTube family, man, we just pulled up to the dogs once more. I got some breaking news to tell you guys. I have some breaking sad news, man. But right now we just pulled up. I just bought another fan to go up inside the shed. But I'm gonna break the news when I let the boys out, man. We'll be right back. Like I said, man, we got some bad news for you guys, man. It breaks my heart. That's why I haven't been posting anything, man. I came to the shed. Ghost broke out the cage. When I walked through the door, Ghost was laid over, croaked over dead, man. He didn't have no blood in his mouth. He didn't have anything going on. So, me being me, I seen Ghost. So, I, my first reaction was to go see where, where Riri at, because they was in the cage together. Glow, stop. So, I went to go look for Riri. Didn't hear Riri voice or anything like that. And... Riri was laying down dead too. Again, no blood or anything in the mouth. I believe they ate something. They ate something in this yard. They got them sick. Or ghosts either got over overworked, overworked themselves trying to get to Riri after you broke out the cage. I zip tied these cages. The tops are broke, as you see. Just like this, the bottom was out. The top were broke. She was laying down dead right there. I haven't cleaned anything, got yet. As you see, there's no blood or anything like that. The cage is still how they was when they was inside, man. So my belief is she ate something in the grass. They both did. Those two have the grass pollen, meaning they like to go, go and just chew on stuff, just chew on stuff. So I believe it was the grass. I don't know, but man, May they rest in peace. We will shake back as far as Bond and Stud goes. We produce, and we finna produce something with this crazy female here, man, and this female here, man. We finna produce something. She would, her new plans, the new plans for the camp, she would be going to Tyson. Hopefully, get another Moscato 2.0 or 3.0, because I had a Moscato 2.0. I just sold it for a good bag, man. So, another Moscato 3.0. As you know, her pedigree, Miyagi, Dex, Mikelin, Hayes Jr., and Tyson pedigree, Fats, Cabone, uh, a lot of big name studs up in there. So, with those two combinations, it would be crazy for me and crazy for the person who gets those next level bulls, man. It's going to be some nice bulls and a nice pedigree. And we just create, man. As far as stud-wise go, what we gonna keep, man? This stud, the next stud of the count will come off of Moscato and Boosie Badass, man. Boosie Badass, that's gonna be the next stud that we do keep. Uh, me and my kennel partner decided on it, man. But for surely, I'm keeping a female. I'm keeping a female off of Boosie and Moscato. And I'm keeping a male off Boosie and Moscato. As far as her litter goes. The only thing I'm keeping off her litter is a female. Hopefully a Moscato 3.0, man. A 3.0 Moscato. That's what I will be keeping off that litter. So we revamping, man. You know, it, it come with the game. Everybody take losses. It's how you shake back off those losses. You either going to keep it pushing and keep your foot grinded or you're going to give up, man. And me personally, I'd have been there already before. Lost a dog due to heat in the past. But this situation wasn't it. But I done lost dogs in the past. It's how you bounce back, man. That's why I kept her because that is my bow daughter right there, along the bow. But it's how you shake back, man. And for the ones who asking, we will be at the show this weekend. We will be the Moscato, me, my significant other, my woman. We will be at the show, man. Networking, proving around. So it's gonna be BTO killings, man. We're gonna be at the in the city man recording getting y'all raw footage live footage man may go live on youtube i don't know yet it depends if i go live i won't be dropping a video but i will i will go live man the whole time if i choose to go live but i really want to drop some content at the dog so man we may stack up moscato moscato i gotta pick this shit up uh we may stack up but I don't know yet. But for y'all wondering why the hell she on his leash, it's because she always had problems going inside the kennels for some reason. She always want to run up under there and get stuck. And I'm chasing her for hours at a time, literally doing everything I can to get her from under there. 
So she gonna learn a lesson by being on his leash. Right now she doing good. Hey, stop biting it. Stop biting it. That's your punishment. So I don't whoop my dogs or anything like that. But this is gonna be a punishment. She wasn't leash trained as a puppy. So this is a punishment. She's gonna be on this leash. It's a good five feet long leash. She can she can freely eat her food whenever she wants to. So she's okay, you guys. She's okay. But like I said, man, we took a loss. Really one of the losses, a lesson and a blessing at the same time. My kennel partner will shake back. As you know, what's mine is his, what's his is mine. We all in this together, man. So we gonna shake back and we gonna be on a next, man. We create next, le next level micro bullets, functional micro bullets. Y'all see the hype on these females, man. They both dope. The only thing I'm missing, like I said, is a dope ass headpiece, man. I get that headpiece, it's over with for you guys. I'm telling you, I'm stepping heads down. I'm stepping hard. I'm stepping, stepping, stepping hard for real, for real, man. This is going to take me up high, high, uh, high up in the bullet game. I'm telling you this now. Next level stud. That will be my stud. I will not be purchasing any studs right now. I'm waiting on my scouter to come in heat, which should be next month. She should be coming in heat next month. So I'm waiting on these two females to come in heat, and I'm finna create some. I'm finna be in the lab for a little bit and create some nasty. I'm talking about freaky nasty, like real deal, next level. Next level, holy field. I'm talking about that type of heavyweights on the micro side of the bullet game, man. More bone, more head pieces, more girl. This boy, Boosie Badass, is the one, man. And those puppies off of Boosie Badass and Moscato will be 3K. 3K a pup, man. Now I don't do first pick, second pick, third pick. I will pick my puppy. I pick my puppy usually about three weeks old, man. If you wait any longer, then, hey, that's y'all. But me personally, I know what I'm looking for at three to four weeks old. I know what I'm looking for. When they get to walking around, moving, and I see what I see. That's when I pick my puppies. As far as her, her little goes, her little would be at 2.5K, man. 2.5K. Uh, We will deliver puppies. I will meet up with you guys. The whole nine yards, you will get a T-shirt, a goodie bag, meaning some toys, a blanket, a collar, shot records. The whole nine yards, man. And for as far as Glow goes... Glow possibly could be going home. As you know, I was watching her for a while. Uh, she could be going home simply because I just want to focus on the camp, man. Focus on what I'm doing and what I'm producing, man. Right now, the only thing, the only thing I got in my camp right now is what we produce here at the camp, which is Moscato and Bella. I do have a bow son in the cut, man. And I'm waiting to get some pictures, some updated pictures. I do have updated pictures on all dogs I produce, man. I will be posting it, especially the Tyson Sons, man. The Tyson Sons go crazy. The Bo Sons go crazy. Uh, Miliota Sons go crazy. Everybody's Sons go crazy, but those are the only dogs I use. I use her mother to create a nasty stud. I would post him. Uh, I used her dad twice to create something nasty. And her mom had two litters. One with Bo and one with Tyson. They both came out amazing. Me personally, I like the Tyson a little better. Only because he threw a, a hell of a headpiece, man, for these studs. He threw a hell of a headpiece. But his pedigree is next level, a top stud, next level. So that's the plans for the camp, you guys. And for, as far as this cage goes, this is going to be my washing cage. Now, I got to clean it out when I clean my other cages out. But this is going to be for my washing cage. When I when I wash, wash the dogs... Wash them up and get them situated. This is where they're going to be going in to dry off, air dry. The whole nine yards. Man, I'm going to set up an area right there. And that's where this is going. I'm going to set up an area right there for them. Uh, and that's going to be that, you guys. You know, we finna get ready to prepare for the winter time. Slowly but surely, we're getting to it. Hopefully, we can drop a little for you guys. We will be dropping a little for you guys this year. Be on the lookout. Stay tuned, man. And also, you guys, I don't have Facebook anymore. I have messages, so you can hit me on the messages at BTO Kennels. You can hit me on my message, BTO Kennels. I don't have TikTok anymore. Uh, strictly business purposes only. Only the social media account I do have is my messenger and my Instagram, man. That Instagram is BTO underscore underscore BTO Kennels. That, I mean, 
No, hold on. Correct. It's underscore, 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 dot BTO Kennels 2.0. It's four underscores. That's the only social media network I have. The giveaway is still going on. And y'all need to go subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, for the ones who return, I appreciate everybody. Make sure y'all go follow my Instagram to be in a chance to be in the giveaway, man. So far, I think I got like 12 people out of 800 and something subscribers. We will be doing it at a thousand subscribers. So we're approaching, we're approaching soon on a thousand subscribers, man. So let's get to it. Make us great, man. We all one family, man. But I appreciate the ones who checking in, who always inbox me with questions and everything else, man. But we will be at the show for you guys. So y'all stay tuned for that. That's probably the next time I drop a video. Now I'm gonna take the back. I'm gonna drop a video. Uh, not, not uh the next day, but the day after I'm gonna drop a video, another video sometime this week for you guys. Keep y'all posted up on everything, man. Preparing. But y'all stay tuned. Hit the like button for me if you haven't already. Hit the like button. Share the channel. Drop a comment. And that's gonna be that, you guys. But we at man.